Hello everyone. I welcome you all in this lecture. Today I will solve some questions of Laplace transformation related to second shifting formula, second shifting formula, then periodic function, then unit step function, and finally I will solve some other important questions. Then we will move towards the inverse Laplace transform. So let us start with the question. Evaluate. Laplace transformation of t minus 1 whole square u t minus 1. So this is basically related to the separate second setting formula solution. We know that the Laplace transformation of f t minus a u t minus a is equal to e to the power minus a s upon into e to the power minus a s into f s. So now you can see that in place of our a we have 1 and our ft is t squared. So let us replace our ft by t squared. So then Laplace of t minus 1 whole square. That means our ft minus a is t minus 1 whole square or you can say that your ft is t square into u t minus 1. This will be equal to e to the power minus a s now your a is 1 so this will be e to the power minus s into f s please remember that f s means the Laplace of f t here our f t stands for t square f t minus a means t minus 1 that means your f t is t so f t means t square so into f s f s means the Laplace of t square your ft minus a is t minus a whole square. That means our ft is t square. So this will be your e to the power minus s into Laplace t square. And the Laplace of t square is factorial 2 upon s to the power 3. So your answer is 2 e to the power minus s upon s cube. And we have done it through the second setting formula. Again, another question. Evaluate. Laplace sine t into u t minus pi by 2. Evaluate Laplace of sine t u t minus pi by 2. We will solve this question with the help of this second setting problem, second setting formula. Your solution is we can write this sine t as t minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 we know that sin 90 plus theta is cos theta so this will be your cos t minus pi by 2 into u t minus pi by 2 now again you can see that this is your f t minus a u t minus a where my f t is cos t so the Laplace of f t minus a u t minus a is equal to e to minus a into s your a is pi by 2 because I have already given you formula so this is your e to the power minus a s into f s where f s is the Laplace of cos t and you know that the Laplace of cos t is s square upon s s upon s square plus 1 and here we have used this formula Laplace of f t minus a u t minus a is equal to e to the power minus a s into f s where my a is pi by 2 so this is the answer then next question okay if ft equal to t minus 1 when t lies between 1 to 2 and then 3 minus 2 3 minus t when t lies between 2 and 3 then evaluate Laplace of ft. Solution. Please note that here the limits are not from 0 to infinite or t is bounded between 1 and 3. So the limits are not infinite. So we cannot use the, your definition. So and again the function 
is not periodic we don't know that it is periodic or not so we will we'll not use the formula of periodic function so let us evaluate its Laplace by converting it in unit step function so we know that ut minus a is equal to this is your 1 if t is greater than a or equal to a and if t is less it is 0 whenever your t is less than a we know that ut minus a is equal to 1 whenever t is greater than equal to a and it is 0 whenever t is greater than a or you can say that this is your 1 whenever your t is greater than a that is that is all so let us write ft as now this is your t minus 1 this is your t minus 1 into please remember that here t is greater than 1 so whenever t is greater than 1 the value of u t minus 1 will be 1 if t is greater than 1 then the value of u t minus 1 will be 1 so because our t is greater than 1 so we will write it as u t minus 1 and its value will be 1 because our t is greater than 1 again t is less than 2 now if t is less than 2 if t is less than 2 then the value of u t minus 2 is 0 so that means we can write this term as this is your 1 and that is your 0 so what we have written is t minus 1 into 1 minus 0 that means t minus 1 and your the value of function of ft is t minus 1 whenever your t lies between 1 and 2 so this condition because of this condition we can write it as ut minus 1 minus ut minus 2 plus we have another value 3 minus t again here you can see that your t is greater than 2 so we can write it as ut minus 2 because if t is greater than 2 if t is greater than 2 then ut minus 2 will be 1 so this is your 1 and as t is less than 3 so the value of ut minus 3 will be 0 because your t is less than 3 so this is your ut minus 3 okay so this is our final function now let us change this whole equation in terms of ut minus a into ft minus a the first term is in in standard form this is your t minus 1 into ut minus 1 so this is your t minus 1 into ut minus 1 then in the second term we will have t minus 1 ut minus 2 the third term is 3 minus 3 into ut minus 2 and the fourth term is 3 minus 3 ut minus 3 now this is your ft minus a ut minus a but here your t minus a is your age 1 and here you can see that your a is 2 so we will try to remove this t minus 1 in terms of t minus 2 so that we can use the formula of second shifting again here your here you can see that we have u t minus 2 we will try to remove this one in t minus 2 and here we can take minus sign common then it will be your t minus 3 into u t minus 3 so the first term is t minus 1 u t minus 1 the second term can be written as t minus 2 plus 1 u t minus 2 the third term can be written as minus this will be your t minus 3 and t minus 3 can be written as t minus 2 minus 1 into u t minus 2 and the fourth term is t minus 3 u t minus 3 then again it is equal to t minus 1 u t minus 1 now this will be your t minus 2 u t minus 2 then this will be your minus u t minus 2 then here we will have t minus 2 u t minus 2 then this minus minus is plus so that means u t minus 2 and then t minus 3 into u t minus 3 so you can see that this term is cancelled now we can take the Laplace transformation so therefore Laplace of ft is equal to we know that the Laplace of ft minus a u t minus a is equal to e to power minus a is 1 so e to power e to power minus a s into f s where f s will be the Laplace of t and the Laplace of t is 1 for s square 
these two term can be combined so this will be your 2 times into the Laplace of t minus 2 into u t minus 2 and that will be your e power minus a s so a is 2 into f s f s means the Laplace of t and which is again 1 upon s square then here it will be your e power minus a s a is 3 into f s where f s means the Laplace of f t which is again 1 by s square so we can take e to the power minus s square e to the power minus s 1 minus 2 e to the power minus s plus e to the power minus this is your e to the power minus 3s so e to the power minus 2s we can also write it as 1 upon s square e to the power minus s a square plus b square minus 2ab that means this is your 1 minus e to the minus s over a square. So let us move towards the next question, which is your evaluate the integral 0 to infinity e to the minus t, then sine square t upon t dt. So we have to evaluate this integral. If you find the Laplace of sine square upon t, sine square t upon t, then we can use the definition of Laplace to evaluate this particular integral. So let us evaluate the Laplace of sine square t upon t. Solution: The Laplace of sine square t upon t means the Laplace of f t upon t, which is integral s to infinity f s ds, where f s means the Laplace of sine square t and we know that cos 2 theta equal to 1 minus sine square 2 theta so sine square theta can be 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 cos 2 theta equal to 1 minus 2 sine square theta so this will be a 1 minus cos 2t upon 2 so 1 minus cos 2t so its Laplace will be you can take half as common 1 Laplace of 1 is 1 by s in the Laplace of course to is s upon s square plus 4 so your integral is s to infinity 1 by 2 1 by s minus s upon s square plus 4 into ds so this is equal to 1 by 2 the integration of 1 by s is log s and then again if we assume s square plus 4 as t then this will be your 2s ds equal to dt that means s into ds will be dt by 2 so this is your dt by t that is again log t and that will be your 1 by 2 log s square plus 4 then the limits from s to infinity so we can write this half in the power so this will be your log the square root of s square plus 4 then the limits from s to infinity now again it is equal to you can write it as log a minus log b equal to half log a upon b and then the limits from s to infinity now if you put s tends to infinity then this will be your infinity upon infinity so let us take this s as common so if this s square will come outside then it will be your s and s and s is cancelled out so we will have 1 plus 4 upon s square now if we 1 plus 4 upon s square now if s tends to infinity then here we will have 1 and 4 upon s square means 4 upon infinity that is 0 so we will have log 1 and log 1 is 0 so upper limit will be 0 and for the lower limit we will have s upon s under s square plus 4 so this is equal to minus half log s upon n root s square plus 4 and this can be written as plus half log n root s square plus 4 upon s so now let us open this formula Laplace sine square t upon t equal to this is your this one now let us Apply the definition of Laplace ft. Laplace ft is equal to integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus st ft dt.
and put s equal to 2 because we have put s equal to 1 because we have to evaluate the integral 0 to infinity e to power minus t so if s equal to 1 then integral 0 to infinity e to power minus t sin square t upon t dt is equal to half log square root of 5 and it can be also written as 1 by 4 log 5 so this is your answer then moving towards the next question the next question is evaluate Laplace ft where ft equal to where ft equal to mod t minus 1 mod t plus 1 equal to 0 we know that solution we know that mod t minus 1 is equal to plus t minus 1 if t is greater than equal to 1 and it is t minus 1 if t is less than equal to 1 if t is less than 1 similarly the mod of t plus 1 will be t plus 1 whenever your t is greater than minus 1 or equal to minus 1 and it is less than it is equal to t plus minus t plus 1 whenever your t is less than minus 1. So this is the definition of mod t minus 1 and mod t plus 1. Now as our t is greater than equal to 0, we have given that t is greater than equal to 0. So this condition is not possible because our t is less than minus 1. So either we will have the condition when t is greater than 0 but less than 1 and again this can be possible because t is greater than equal to 0 so we can also say that t is greater than equal to minus 1 or greater than minus 1 so this condition is possible so we can write our ft as so this is your say this is your t minus 1 plus t minus 1 or let us start with minus t minus 1 so if this is your minus t minus 1 and now that is your true when your t is less than 1 so this is your minus t minus 1 now this condition is not possible so we have just this condition and that will be your that will be your minus that will be your plus t plus 1 and this is when your t this is when your t is less than 1 but greater than 0 or maybe equal to 0 because here you can say that if t is greater than minus 1 so we can also say that we can also assume it as greater than 0 so here our answer will be mod t minus 1 will be your minus t minus 1 plus t plus 1 in a second case whenever your t is greater than equal to 1 then your ft minus mod t minus 1 is your t minus 1 so this is your t minus 1 and then its value is just t plus 1 and this is when your t is greater than equal to 1 that means this is equal to minus t plus t will be cancelled so this is your 2 when your t is greater than 0 or maybe equal to 0 and it is less than 1 and it is 2t when your t is greater than equal to 1 so this is our ft now we will try to find out its Laplace transformation this is true when t is greater than equal to 0 but less than 1 and this is 2t whenever your t is greater than equal to 1 now let us compute its Laplace transformation so the Laplace of ft is equal to integral s to infinity sorry 0 to infinity e to power minus st ft dt using the definition of definite integral we will break our integral from 0 to 1 and then 1 to infinity so this is your 0 to 1 and then 1 to infinity when your t is between 0 to 1 so in that case our ft is 2 so this is your 2 times 0 to 1 e to power minus s t dt when your ft is when your t is greater than equal to 1 then your ft is 2t so this will be your 2 times 1 to infinity 
e to the power minus s t into t t is one, and that will be equal to e to the power minus s t upon minus s. Then the limits from zero to one. Here you can use the chain rule. This will be your e to the power minus s t upon minus s. Then into t. Then we will have minus n. Again, the integration of this will be e to the power minus s t upon s square, and the derivative of one is the derivative of t is one. So this is from one to infinity. So the upper limit will be, and this is equal to minus two upon s. The upper limit is e to the power minus s, and for the lower limit we will have e to the power minus zero. That is your one. Then here, our upper limit will be e to the power minus infinity, and which is your zero. So this will give you zero. But actually, it is not so easy. We will have to take the limit as t tends to infinity e to the power minus s t. Into t, we'll evaluate this one as t upon e to the power minus e to the power s t. Now you can see that if t is infinity, then this will be your infinity upon e to the power infinity, which is again infinity. So infinity upon infinity means you have to use the L Hausdorff rule. For that, we will differentiate the numerator and denominator with respect to t. So this will be your one upon s times e to the power s t. Now s t tends to infinity, your Answer will be one upon e to power infinity, which is your infinity. So one upon infinity is zero. So ultimately our answer is zero. So I am writing it as zero. So upper limit is zero. Now its lower limit will be minus minus plus e to power minus s upon s. Here our upper limit will be zero, and for lower limit we will put s equal to one for t equal to one. So this will be your minus minus plus e to power minus s upon s squared. So this is equal to Minus two upon s e to the power minus s minus minus two upon s plus two e to the power minus s upon s square. So this term is cancelled. We can take one upon s square common and two. So our answer will be s plus e to the power minus s. So this is the answer. Let us solve another question, which is our. Laplace of the periodic function. So, question: If f t is equal to t, when your t is between zero to a, and c o two a minus t, when your t is greater than between a but less than two a, and f t plus two a is f t, that means. The function is periodic of period to it. Then you have to evaluate the Laplace transformation of f t. Solution: As the function is periodic, so we will use the definition of periodic function, and the Laplace of periodic function is equal to one upon one minus a s, one upon one minus e to the power minus a s, where a is the period. Now we have period as two a, so this will be your two a. And then limits from zero to a, where a was the period, so this will be a zero to a, e to the power minus s t, f t d t. Now using the definition of different integral, we will partition our integral from zero to a and then a to two a. So this will be your equal to zero to a, then from a to two a. So this is equal to. Now for the first integral, our value of the function is one. Value of the function is t. So this will be t into e to the power minus s t. And for the second integral, the value of the function is two a minus t. Now we will use the chain rule of integration. That means we will assume the Powers of t as u, so this will be your u into v, the integration of u v, and we can say that integration of u v is equal to u into the integration of v, which we denote as v one minus the derivative of u, then the integration of this bracket. Say, let us assume this one as v two, then we will take the differences of u dash. Say this is your u two, and again the integration of v two. Say this is your v three, and so on. Now we will use this formula. 
that means u into integration of v1 where u is the powers of t so this will be your 0 to a now let us use the formula t integration of e to the power minus s t will be minus e to the power minus s t upon minus s then derivative of t will be 1 and then the integration of this bracket will be e to the power minus s t upon minus s whole square that means s square and then limits from 0 to a and for the second integral we will have e to the power 2a minus t and the integration of e to the power minus s t will be e to the power minus s t upon minus s then we will have minus sign and then derivative of 2a minus t will be minus 1 so this will be a plus and then integration it will be and limits from a to 2a so let us solve this one so its upper limit will be its upper limit will be a times e to the power minus a s upon minus s its lower limit will be 0 its upper limit will be minus 1 upon s square e to the power minus a s its lower limit will be 1 upon s square here the upper limit will be 0 and the lower limit will be if t equal to a then this will be your minus minus plus so a upon s e to the power minus a s here the upper limit will be e to minus 2 s and then the lower limit will be e to minus a s so this is equal to 1 minus 2 e, e to minus 2 s now this term is cancelled with this one so minus 1 upon s square e to minus a s plus 1 upon s square plus 1 upon s square e to minus 2 s minus 1 upon s square e to minus a s so you can see that it is equal to we can take 1 upon s square common so this is your 1 these two terms are equal so this is will get combined so this will be minus 2 times e to minus minus a s then we will have e to minus 2 s now this is your a square plus b square minus 2 ab and it is equal to one minus b whole square now here this term can be written as a square minus b square b square means e to the power minus a s whole square so this is your a plus b a minus b so one a minus b will be cancelled so this is your one upon s square 1 minus e to the power minus a s one, 1 plus e to the power a s so this is your answer to evaluate Laplace of e to the power minus 2 t integral 0 to t 1 minus cos u upon u d now to evaluate the Laplace of this question first of all we will compute the Laplace of 1 minus cos u upon u say this is your f u then this will be your integral 0 to t f u d u then we will compute the Laplace of integral 0 to t f u du which is your f s upon s then finally we will use the sifting formula so first of all let us compute the Laplace of 1 minus cos u upon u now the Laplace of f t upon t is equal to integral s to infinity f s t s where f s stands for the Laplace of the numerator and the Laplace of the numerator means the Laplace of 1 which is your 1 by s the Laplace of cos u means s upon s square plus 1 so integration of log 1 by s will be your log s and here if you assume s square plus 1 s to a t then 2s ds will be dt and so s into ds will be dt by 2 so this is your 1 half log s square plus 1 and then the limits from s to infinity so we can also write it as log s we can take this half in the power so this will be your and further this is your log a minus log b which is your log a upon b and 
If you take s square common, then in the outside we will have s. So this s and the s common bracket will cancel. So we will have 1 plus 1 upon s square. Now if we put s tends to infinity, then here we will have log 1 which is your 0. And for the low limit, we will replace our s by s. So our answer is log and root s square plus 1 upon s. Because we know that log a upon b is equal to minus log b upon a. So now let us evaluate the Laplace of the integer, which was Laplace 0 to t, 1 minus cos u upon u d. The Laplace of this integral, say this is your fu, the Laplace of this integral fu du is equal to 1 upon s into fs, where fs will be the Laplace of fu, the Laplace of fu was log under root s square plus 1 upon s. So this is your 1 upon s log under root s square plus 1 upon s. Now finally, we will use our shifting. Now, this is equal to we know that if this is gt then e to the power minus a t into gt is equal to the Laplace of e to the power minus a t into gt equal to g of s plus a. You know that we have the formula of Laplace e to the power a t f t. We say that this is equal to f of s plus f of s minus a. That means the Laplace of a t will be shifted by a. So that means we will replace our s by s minus a in the Laplace of a t. Here the Laplace of a t means if this is your f t then this its Laplace is this one. And in our case our a is minus 2 so our answer will be our answer will be f s plus 2. So that means we will replace our s by s plus 2. So this is your answer. We can also simplify it. So this is your answer.